Hey guys, what's up? This is Jason, and in this video I'm going to show you guys some basic element stuff that I just learned, even though I've been playing for like 100 hours on this game. So, the first thing is, whenever you need to refill your multi-tool, or your, you know, your terrain manipulator, your mining beam, whatever it happens to be, they always give you an option. Hey, you can use 200 carbon, or 67 condensed carbon. Now, I looked at that and I was like, okay, that doesn't... It doesn't seem to add up. I mean, it, it sounds better to use condensed carbon anyway because there's less. But how much of an improvement is that? So, and I mean, you could also use phosphorus, but phosphorus is hard to come by. And I use it for my um, hazard protection. So I never use phosphorus unless I absolutely have no carbon or condensed carbon. But I was thinking, I was like, okay, how much is that? So if you go over here to, your, to a portable, just put a refiner down anywhere, a portable refiner. I'm just going to put in some um, some carbon just to see. So I have a, a stack of 250 right there. So it goes two to one. So every two carbon make one condensed carbon. Okay. So that means I get 125 out of 250. Which is way better than if you go to your uh, your mining beam. If you look at it, 67 times two because it's two to one is what 134 so it would take 134 carbon to make 67 condensed carbon which is way less than 200 so it is cheaper actually to use condensed carbon and it takes less so the big tip is whenever you're running around trying to to collect uh, uh, elements just put down a portable refiner condense all of your carbon in the condensed carbon and as a matter of fact, do it for everything because the same thing goes for the terrain manipulator. You could use ferrite dust, which is 200, or pure ferrite. And the biggest thing about that is ferrite, ferrite dust turns into pure carbon or pure ferrite one to one. So for 200 ferrite dust, it would be 200 pure ferrite, but they only use 100. So that's already cut in half for your cost. And it's even more for the uh, magnetized ferrite. Let me look. Let me show you guys. I'm gonna take this out. So if I put pure ferrite in there, 250. That's two to one. So it's still the same as the the condensed carbon to regular carbon, but it needs even less. I mean, look at this thing. It only needs 20, not even 67. It only needs 20 carbon to do, or 20 uh, magnetized ferrite to do that. I keep mixing them up. But yeah, and so it's always in your benefit to get the most condensed version, the most refined version. And it saved you space because you can, you know, downplay it from ferrite dust to pure ferrite. It is one to one, so it doesn't really save you space. But it's two to one from pure ferrite to magnetized ferrite. So you're saving space and it's using less materials. So always, always, always use the most refined materials you can to refill. All right, guys. And then on top of that, if you want to dupe without actually duping, there's actually a way to do that. Let's put this in the high capacity. So it takes 50 condensed carbon to fill up your uh, fuel in a portable refiner. Or 150, um, 150 regular carbon. That doesn't add up at all because it's two to one, so it should only take a hundred. So let's put condensed carbon in there. Now we'll, we're going to leave and pick it up because when you, whenever you pick up a portable refiner, it gives you carbon. It gives you whatever fuel you have left. So I put in 50 condensed, and I got 150 regular carbon. Yep, portable. I'm confused here, you guys. I got too many menus going on here. So I just got an extra 50 carbon for doing nothing. Literally doing nothing, I got 50 carbon. And I can just keep doing that. You keep getting 150. It gives you more than you put in. Because if I were to refine that... I just got 300. For 100 condensed carbon, I got 300 regular carbons. 
And if I were to refine that those carbons, I mean just 250, I will get 125. That's crazy. So if definitely that is the trick, you guys. Put in condensed carbon and get carbon out. You're, you're just making carbon over and over again. 125 carbon. That's crazy. So I just added a whole bunch to my carbon. Okay, guys. And now the last uh, tip I'm going to show you guys is one I've already shown you. But just in case you didn't see it before. Whenever you get it to a deposit and you need to use your terraform manipulator. Oops. Or terrain manipulator, sorry, the terraformer. You can use different sizes. If you press left and right on the D-pad, it uses different sizes. And you don't think that makes a difference, but it really does. The smallest one, it uses more fuel, but it gives you way more resources out of the same deposit. It always, By default, it's always going to be set towards the middle one, the center. And so that'll give you a good amount of resources for a good amount of fuel. If you go all the way to the right, it's a huge uh, chunk, and so it'll it'll uh, mine the resource really fast, but it'll it won't take very much uh, resources to do that. But it won't give you very many resources either. And so, if you want to get the most out of a resource, you go to the left all the way till it's a small little one, and you'll see my resource my uh, my fuel is going down like crazy. But I'm going to get a whole bunch of resources out of this little tiny deposit right here and it works every single time guys so whenever you're whenever you find a resource or whenever you need a resource like if you find activated copper or indium or anything like that something really important always go for the smallest size that way you get the most out of it because i mean look at this thing i already got a hundred and i'm about to run out of fuel but i mean i'm still going through the deposit so that's a huge huge tip you guys go for the smallest size that way it uses more fuel so you're giving up a little bit more fuel, but you're getting way more resources at the same time. All right, guys. Well, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I have tip videos all over the place. I'm going to be putting up more. So I'll see you guys next time.